In North America, we estimate that 1 in 100 individuals are diagnosed with an intellectual disability. 1 in 68 children are diagnosed with Autism Spectrum Disorder, or ASD. Just to put this in perspective, ASD is 7 times more prevalent in children than is diabetes, 8 times more prevalent than cerebral palsy, and 41 times more prevalent than cystic fibrosis. The numbers are staggering and the incidence, particularly of autism spectrum disorders, keeps growing. Forty years ago, many individuals with ASD or intellectual disabilities would either have gone undiagnosed or they would have ended up in institutions. Today, thanks to significant developments in early intervention therapy for young children, specialized education and work programs, and adapted residential services, these individuals can live long and productive lives if access to the right services is made possible. Collectively, we need to make sure that happens. So what's needed? Well, individuals and their families touched by an ASD and or intellectual disability live with these for life. The life journey of an individual with an ASD or intellectual disability is incredibly challenging, all-consuming, and stressful, not only for them, but also for their families, who carry much of the burden. First, there's a need for families to find an ever-evolving mix of appropriate daycare, education, leisure and work activities over their loved one's lifespan. Add to that the need for numerous specialized services, such as shadowing, or early intensive intervention to help social communications development and integration into society. On top of all that, families must often deal with a variety of medical and dental issues for which services are often extremely difficult to find. Then, one of the biggest preoccupations for parents is to know that there will be someone to care for their child or a place for them to live, especially when they pass away. Over and above all of these demanding issues, crisis points occur throughout one's lifespan for a variety of reasons, whether it be a sudden behavioral problem that emerges or a new social or medical problem. The life impact on families is enormous and continuous. As you can see, there is so much that needs to be done. This is a multifaceted challenge and the Miriam Foundation, along with many partners along the way, intends to contribute to addressing it in an even bigger way than it has in the past. However, before doing so, we needed to more deeply understand today's gaps in services and to develop a sound strategy that would answer questions like, from the multitude of critically important needs for families affected by ASD or intellectual disabilities, which ones should we, as an organization, prioritize? How can we structure the various ways in which we could help? What is required to operationalize these initiatives? What will be the cost and who will fund it? How can we make the biggest possible impact? With all these questions in mind, we approached McKinsey & Company, a global strategy consulting firm who generously worked with us to conduct a groundbreaking deep dive into ASDs and intellectual disabilities, from diagnosis to old age. The mandate of the project was to understand what services are currently offered to families and individuals affected by ASDs and intellectual disabilities in Quebec, Canada, and abroad. Analyze existing and projected gaps in service provision, particularly at key transition points across the lifespan. Explore leading, innovative models to support people in Canada and worldwide. Identify opportunities for partnerships across public, private and nonprofit sectors. Define social, medical and economic benefits of recommendations. And to define a strategic plan with priorities to close identified gaps in and improve existing services. The outcome of this project was one of the most in-depth and comprehensive analyses of ASDs and intellectual disabilities across the lifespan in Quebec and Canada. Together with McKinsey & Company, we reviewed over 225 documents, 
and undertook 55 interviews with different organizations, key academics, and health professionals from the public, private, and community sectors. We reached out to organizations from Quebec, Canada, and worldwide and we conducted focus groups with family members of individuals affected by ASDs and intellectual disabilities. Whereas many of us have long been aware of the need for significantly better care and access to services, we now know, much more specifically, the extent of the issues across the lifespan. Moreover, this research helped us define our path for the future. We hope that our findings will also be of assistance to other organizations across the globe looking to make a difference in the lives of those with ASDs and intellectual disabilities.